Since the late 90s, Islamic radicals have waged a bloody insurgency in the southwest corner of Russia. Two wars and scores of terrorist attacks have killed thousands. Now, one man's mission is to bring peace to the region. Gennady Turkun is not proud of his past, and he gets uncomfortable talking about it. I left home when I was 13 years old and got entangled with the wrong crowd. I did a lot of things that I'm ashamed of. He's from the small Russian city of Krasnodar. His life reads like a Hollywood mafia thriller. Drugs, armed robbery, prostitution, hired assassin, money laundering, gun smuggling. You name it, Turkun did it all. And then some. It's as if I became the devil's slave. I even remember making a pact with Satan to serve him. And his deeds eventually caught up with him. I was arrested and sentenced to 20 years in prison. That's the past. And to witness the power of a life transformed by God, look no further than Gennady Tarkun. The year was 1987. The former Soviet Union faced huge political changes, and a young Tarkun sat in prison. I had a bad reputation in prison as someone who had special cult-like powers. Prisoners were even afraid of me. One day, some Christians came to share the love of Jesus. Tarkun says it was the first time he had ever heard the gospel message. But it took four years for it to sink in. In 1991, I realized its true meaning. I dropped to my knees in the prison cell and told God I was a sinner. I didn't want to live one single day without him in my life. From that moment, I went from serving Satan to a servant of Jesus. The prison miraculously shortened his sentence by five years and he was released in 1996. The day after he walked out of prison, he walked into a Bible training seminar organized by Russian ministries, which focuses on bringing the gospel to the former Soviet Union. Russian ministries was very instrumental in my life. Their classes taught me how to share my new faith with others. They also put in me a missionary heart to plant churches and help train the next generation of leaders in my country. He was baptized shortly thereafter. Now, for more than 10 years, Turkun has been leading a church in the predominantly Muslim Northern Caucasus region. I am convinced that it is the love of Christ that can turn this region around. That's a tremendous show of faith because Islamic radicals have waged a bloody insurgency here for years. In that time, two wars and scores of terrorist attacks have killed thousands and displaced many more. Turkun's goal? reach this war-torn region with messages of reconciliation and forgiveness. One way is to reach young people. Turkun coordinates dozens of youth camps each year in partnership with Russian ministries and local congregations. Di Gusalova is a member of Turkun's church and helps with the camps. These kids have to know there is an alternative lifestyle to violence. We spend time playing games with them, handing out gifts and building relationships. It gives us an opportunity to share the gospel. Many parents say the camps are God sent. I love it when they talk about peace and getting along with other ethnic and religious groups. They are helping to build bridges, and this is important. In one city, the local Communist Party even took out full-page newspaper ads promoting the youth camps. You may be surprised, but there are many Christians in the Communist Party. We believe that the messages of Christ can give these kids a brighter future. When he's not coordinating camps or preaching, Turkun trains local believers to become the future leaders here. It's all about missions and church planting. Working in the Northern Caucasus is not without its hardships. It includes the volatile region of Chechnya, where Muslim militants and Russian forces have battled back and forth to control the province. There is relative peace now, but Islam's influence is growing. With the help of the Russian government and several Muslim countries, including Saudi Arabia, Chechnya has today erected what could be the largest mosque in Europe. For evangelical Christians living in this province, life for them can not only be challenging, but potentially dangerous. Ramza has first-hand experience. CBN News agreed to conceal his identity for protection. I've been repeatedly warned by Muslim radicals and local authorities to stop preaching, but I will not. I'm a simple man whose life was one day touched by Christ. I have a responsibility to tell others about him, no matter the cost. It's the price that Ramza, Gennady, and the other believers are willing to pay to bring lasting peace. God changed my life in prison that day for a reason, and this is it. 
to bring love and hope to these regions. George Thomas, CBN News, in Grozny, Chechnya.